Okay guys, we're back. It is Sunday fun day. Shop's all cleaned out, swept out, blown out. I try and um I try and I try and blow the shop down once a week. Uh at the end of the week I try and just uh <coughs> move everything out of the way and just, just blow it down lightly to keep some of the shit down. Helps out. You know? It's nice to come in here on a Sunday to yourself and you know you got some nice a nice clean shop and you got some Elvis Presley playing in the background or today's Elvis. Maybe something else might change it here in a bit, but that's what's going on at the moment. So anyway, it's been a while because we worked on the Weiss Wagon before this, and I think the weekend before that I was gone away on my birthday. So it's been a couple weeks since we've addressed this old girl. So if I remember correctly here, um, if I remember correctly, come on baby, open up. Oh my God, hang on a sec guys. Hey, you guys take a look at the lovely suburban in the background while I use both hands to open a door. Okay. Let me get some door handles on that son of a bitch. Anyway, so, um, okay, so I did weld it up there. It's all welded up there. Okay. So I think, where did I, I know I, I know I never finished this. I plug welded all the plugs here. Oh, aha. Oh boy. I got to do all the plug welds under here. So we're going to attempt that. Okay. So that's what we're going to attempt right now. And then I don't know where we're going to go after that. We'll just figure it out. So let's get shit set up and let's get going. Hey guys, um, whoops, obviously I can't use the hoist so I'm on the ground but there we go, we got some nice plug welds under there, two, four, I think there's seven of them total, and they're going on to our inner panel, so it's something on there, that's it, bottle jacks, bottle jacks, um, they come in handy. They're not much use anymore for jacking cars up. Well, I shouldn't say that. They're handy in the trunk of your car, but we all have a floor jack. We like something on wheels, but <laughs> bottle jacks, if you're at a garage sale swap meet and you see them for like five bucks, pick them up. You can never have enough. I've got one, two, and I think a couple more in the corner. I think I, 
into them all for like 15 bucks and they're just a, they're just a handy little thing so that's it I think I'm gonna grind down these uh, plug welds now and remember I never did weld it up here I've left it alone because I don't know whether I'm gonna be replacing this I should be grinding this next and see but I, I think at the end of the day regardless whether it comes out shiny metal like this or not I don't know what's in behind here. Like I say, like that you can see right there. See that? That's behind the chrome. But see how that's black rust? So never leave that. If you're gonna leave this panel and don't replace it, I would take a die grinder and try and get that out of there the best you can. Or cut it out, weld a piece in if you have the means to. Or you know, or you can put some rust penetrator on there, but at the end of the day, you know there's going to be rust in behind this panel somewhere and if I don't do it now it's just going to come back five years from now and that's what bit me in the ass on my 58 Ford my two-door post I stripped that car to bare metal granted it's been almost 10 years now uh, but she's starting to get some bubbles on the rockers and on the dog legs you know she's starting to get some there I'm not afraid to admit it and uh, you know it, that car was off the road from that car was on the road in 1958 and was taken off the road in 1972 and never saw the road after that so it was on the road for only 14 years but it still sat around, things sweat, things get moisture, it just, it doesn't, it's what happens. Even if you're in a heated garage, it happens. And um, like I said, I stripped that car to bare metal, and now she's got some rust bubbles coming up on her, and uh, I have to address it. Rust never sleeps, it never goes away. So if you're out there getting someone to build a car, you're doing something for yourself, don't ever think that it's going to be gone forever, because it's, it's just always going to come back, right? You know, but... There's a lot better ways out there nowadays to treat it and prevent it from coming back. So, that's a good thing. So anyway, let's do some grinding. plug welds cleaned up ground down and then when we got our seam tried to get our line that's a felt pen don't worry about that can't really see it here but try to get our line back there some people would would not put this line in there they'd leave it hard to say don't know if I'll leave it or not 
might fill over that, might leave it. Sean does beautiful work, so he can leave that line there. It looks nice. Should be their factory. So, yeah. So I think we're gonna pack a lot of this stuff up. And uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about doing anything with that, grinding that today, because I don't have the piece anyway. Um, I might play with it in between things here today when you guys are watching, see what we come up with. But I think, you know, we got the next piece here, sitting right next to my boom boom. Ooh, ooh, you getting dizzy yet? Anyway, um, might get this one going, do some cutting. Ooh, it's gonna be tight here with this pole. But there's room. We've all been in tighter situations. So anyway, try and get some shit organized here. Okay, so if you remember, well, you know, we put all new floors and in, in, in and outer rockers on. But if you remember on the quarter, on the last side, I lopped this piece off because this piece, this is actually part of your rocker panel, and I don't want to start cutting my new rockers off. So, first step is cutting this off. And if you remember, I was, they make this so it's like a, a, a dipped in for you. So you can slip this up underneath there, and then you can just stitch weld it along, and you got an overlap joint inside. And if you remember, I was, started out, was going to do it that way, and then I didn't do it that way, and anyway, I said I wasn't happy with the way I did it. Um, which we'll go on here and we'll look, which it turned out okay though, I made it work because I just didn't want an overlap seam inside, even though no one's going to see it when the door panel's on, I just, I didn't want it to, um, let's go, oh god this bloody door, hang on, I didn't want it to, I didn't want to have it sit overlapped, so you can see, I've got it all nicely butt welded, all the way along, no warpage, no nothing going on, can actually see down on here see where we just plug welded it you can see it coming through that's a good sign you want to see that that means it penetrated but also don't forget you want to get back in there and put some some paint or rust paint or something on there because it burnt away you know the rust paint we put on there that's what I'm saying like but anyway so I had started putting on and then I realized I didn't want to do that and it was too late I had already had tacked it here put a couple plug welds there I don't remember so I got left with that little bit of a div divot there but I did, you know, all here is, is, is smooth. So I got, so we got to give it a light skim coat, which you're going to do no matter what anyway. Okay, that's going to get skim coated. Actually, maybe we'll leave that door open. Going to get skim coated no matter what. It turned out really nice. I'm happy with it. Um, it's not going to have tons of filler. Like, honestly, it's probably going to need like, I don't know, can you, see, can you see the middle gap between my fingers? Like that much, you know what I'm saying? Like very little. But I'm thinking when I do this side, again, I don't want... I don't want to have this inside the car and I don't want to do it the way I did it there. So I'm going to chop this off here and then I'm just going to butt weld it so it's even more flush on this side than the other side, if that's just making sense to you. I ain't no teacher, just a guy, self-taught, been doing this a long time and uh, that's it. Been doing it too long some days I think, but it's just what I love to do. I wouldn't change it for a thing in the world. I just love building cars. But that's the thing that I was saying in my past video, if you watched, I just, uh, I'm trying to take the business to a new level, discussed it with the wife, and she's all game, she doesn't mind. Um, just gonna start building shit that I've always dreamed of, I've always wanted to do, because life is short. On a budget, on somewhat of a budget, we're not gonna, you know, some are gonna have used motors, some are gonna have new motors, some are gonna have whatever. Um, but I'm gonna build the cars I dreamed of, I'm gonna build the custom cars I think about, the ideas I got, cars, trucks, everything, and uh, drive them for the summer, and, and they'll be for sale. Certain ones will be for sale, certain ones won't. And if somebody buys it, they buy it, and if they don't, it doesn't matter, because I got what I always wanted to build. And that's how Gene Winfield, and you think about guys like Gene Winfield, Ed Roth, you think about Barris. I mean, they did cars for people, but they built a lot of their own signature cars, which is other people bought. They would build a car and someone would be driving around a custom that they built. Their car, they built. Rather than people coming to me building a car for them. Not that I'm stopping that quite yet, but I'm just saying that things are switching over to the other way, slowly. So, uh, anyway, we're going to chop this off, and uh, that's all there is to say about that. So let's start cutting.
Oh! So, like I tell you so many times, I like to just cut little bits away at a time. I don't like to overdo it. So there's our there's our inner rocker on the back. Pretty damn solid. That's going to clean up. Rust repair in the corner, no different than the other one. A little bit of rust on this track here. It's what the door panel sits down inside. So I'll fix that first, and then start fixing that. But <clears throat> cut a bit more away. This got a is, is a spot welded underneath. So um, drill the spot welds out underneath there, clean it up, or you can do the you can you can cheat, which is what I'm going to do. You can take a grinder with a uh, the flapper disc on it and grind underneath, get the metal thin, pull the metal away, spot welds are kind of still there, grind them down flush, away you go. Sometimes a little quicker than sitting there and um, drilling each one out individually, right? With the chance of drilling through the existing piece of metal. So better do it that way for me. I got my line on there, you can see it plain as day on that one. Uh, we got we got the, the upper panel up there. I've managed to uh, oh, to cut it where I wanted. I, I cut that I cut that ridge off, chopped it down in there, cut this existing piece only to join. You know I have to like I said I still gotta cut more here, but that'll come right into here. So we'll, we'll we'll cut that off and lose it. And that's it. So I'm just gonna do some more cutting and bullshit. No point filming that. You guys don't want to sit here and watch that all day, do you? Well anyway, we'll keep going. Okay guys, I got a bit more cut off here. You can see I got right back up into there now. Of course, we've got to do our repairs now, so we're going to start cutting. The repairs will start in this area. Well, actually, I've got to fix this. i got to fix that, and then we'll start there, and then we'll start to build that just like we did the other side. So I don't think we're going to be getting this piece on here today, on this fun day Sunday, but we're going to do our best to at least get these repairs done. Okay, so I've, um, as you can see, I'm starting to cut away the rust that was there. I'm cutting that piece out. I'm going to replace that piece net first. Um, I know i got to do this, but I'm going to get into this first. I like to tackle the bigger stuff because I'm trying to get this done today. The day's running short, but I want to try and get that done. <clears throat> and then I can tackle that at the end if there's enough time. So I started bending up a piece here, as you can see. Kind of fit to match that design. And uh, yeah, get that put in there and we'll see where it goes. Okay, I um, got that patch welded in. You can see it lines up very nice. It's got the lip underneath. So I got that all in there. I did repair that there where it was, where it was rotten. That's all new now. Um, what I've done here is I've tacked in a piece of metal. So I cut this piece, it's one inch. That's how wide this lip is, one inch. Um, I put it on there, and then what I did was I put the, I, I put the quarter panel piece on there, and I fitted this to that, and I just kind of, I've tacked it down in here and up here, just to allow me to figure out making this, and this has kind of got a, you can see a bend like that, it's got a slope like that, it's got a slope like that, so, you know, this is what I'm on to next. I'm going to build this into two pieces just because I don't I don't have all the fancy equipment here like most shops. I mean, I got a bead roller, I got a cut, a cutter, I got a bender, a brake. Um, I, I don't have an English wheel, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, I'm going to make it in two pieces and it ain't going to matter. So I'm going to make this first piece right here, tack it in, just tack it, and then I'm going to cut that rusty piece out and make that piece next. And then that takes care of all the rust up in there, except we do have rust coming you know, up and behind here. But this takes care of the rust where the quarter is. This rust I can address from inside the wheelhouse, which I might do later when the body's off the frame on the hoist, because then the diff's out of the way, the frame's out of the way. I don't know yet. I can address it now, but it's just a little more difficult with everything up in there. I mean, I could get it from this side, um, I guess. But honestly, uh, Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just right here right now. That's not what I know what I'm doing. Okay. Fuck out here. Oh, I gotta 
love it when things get twisted up. So what we got going on here, oh, sorry guys. As I said, I'm gonna make it in two halves. So this is the first piece, and that's good and solid, all right? So I'm gonna chop this piece out, across in here, and this will go in next. And then we rebuilt this whole corner, except for, like I say, in there. So I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing in there yet. Well, I know what I'm doing. I know what to do, I just don't know if I want to do it now or later, or if I want to start tackling getting the, the quarter ready to put on. But before I can even put the quarter on anyway, I have to clean this up obviously a bit more. You can see the rust in here, well not rust, but surface rust. I have to clean it more, and I have to get this all sprayed in behind here, because you're not going to get to it after the, the new quarter's on. So, I'm going to figure this out pretty quick. Well, there you go. We are getting there, slowly but surely. Okay, here we go guys. So I got the other piece in. Like I said, I didn't do anything with the rust that's inside there. Just got this other piece in here. When I grind that all down, that'll look good. I'm not gonna grind down in here where this weld is here. You can see, I'm not gonna bother with that because you don't see that and there's no point. And when you grind a weld, I mean, you welds are strong, so you can grind them obviously, but when you do grind them, you're taking away surface from them so they get weaker, right? But there's no reason to take that away. That's actual strength, right? That's the back of the the back of the rocker going on to that. Well, not rocker. Well, I guess you would say rocker. Back of the quarter, whatever you're gonna call it, going on to your, you know, your outer wheel tub, inner wheel tub there. So it's gonna leave that. So we'll just, we'll just grind that, and then um, I'll think about what I'm gonna do over here and up there. If I'm gonna tackle that now, or if I'm just gonna start cleaning this up and getting it sprayed and getting ready to put the panel itself on. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I decided, fuck it. Started cutting it out. So I got it cut there, and of course, you know, I found rust down in the corner of the floor here, so I'm still cutting and grinding here, so we ain't putting no quarter panel piece on today. So I still got some more to cut away here. I'm just trimming right now. And uh, I got the, the that's where the rust was, the major part. Now I'll clean up around there, and then I'll probably cut further back because I like to cut until I find really, really good metal. I can tell this isn't going to be the greatest, but we'll clean up and see what we find there. And we'll be lucky if we get these patches in today. But do it now, right? It's you know, it's one way or the other way. Do it when it's on the hoist. The body's off the frame. I can stand up underneath there. I'll do it while the quarter's off, and I can kind of still get under there, sorta, with the diff in, but I've got all this room to access this way. So it's it's kind of a hit and miss situation, and in the back of my mind, I just had to deal with it now. I, I, I know I would, uh, I'd be laying in bed tonight, and I'd be like, ah, oh, I gotta fix that later on. Where now I can just know I can take the body off on the hoist later on, and know that all I'm gonna do is, you know, clean up underneath. And, uh, texture spray. Kind of just want to get all the welding done on it. As much as I can anyway. Alright, that is a wrap for today. So I ended up taking care of all that rust that was up in there. And uh, did the piece on the floor. A little bit of grinding. Got a couple of welds to grind down. I'll do that during the week. Some of these welds here, I fixed the hole that was there. Redrilled the hole for the body mount. That's a body support mount there. Um, yeah, I found this piece because what you got is you got your wheel tub, then you got your floor underneath this piece. Then this is a separate bracket um, that the shoebox had. I didn't have one here, but I have a pair of these that are off a 36 Ford, and it works out perfect. So I just put that there. So that's beautiful. It's just like an extra layer. You know what it is? Just an extra place when water gets under the rust more. But anyway, it does strengthen it because what it does is it ties 
I guess it ties the floor into the wheel tub. Even though I did weld it across the floor to the wheel tub, this kind of ties it in further up and down. So it's all good. I'm glad I had that piece. Saved a lot of time. Wasn't too fussy there about that. I mean, that's all covered up with upholstery and everything. So whatever. But it did have it, so I wanted to put something back. So it's all done. So I'll try this week in between work if I can to get the welds ground down and this all cleaned up and sprayed. So next week, we're on to doing this. We'll get that on. And, um, and I do have, uh, sitting on top of the top of the, the, the roof here, I do have the rear panel for this one. So, yeah. So that was a good day. That's not bad. You know, Sunday fun day. Start at 10. It's around 4 now. So that's, uh, that's 6 hours. I'm happy with what I got done. Something is always better than nothing. That's how you gotta, that's how you gotta look at it. So anyway, with that being said, I'll try and get some videos out to you this week, during the week. Um, we got lots on the go. We're gonna be putting the wood in the Suburban. We're gonna be, uh, what else are we gonna be doing? I can't remember now. Uh, the vet, the vet and the nose is all going up in, or no, is it in primer? No, it's already in primer, but anyway, we got stuff on the go. We got stuff on the go to get, see, we're bringing, the 62 Ford pickup will be in here. We'll be working on that. The one with the Buick engine in it. That's right. So we're finally going to get on that. Put the glass in it. Uh, we got to put the glass in it. Not much. Scotch bright it all. Flat clear it. Anyway, a few things. Don't know. Don't care right now. It's Sunday, and I still got Monday off. So hey, thanks for subscribing. It's always a good time at all time.